you noted today, President Trump, he's going to head to North Dakota to speak about tax reform because they're trying to do all that in the middle of all of this. So few days to get so many things done, uh, to, to Tracy's point. You know, for more on all of this, what's happening in Washington, let's bring in Republican strategist Amy Tarkanian. Uh, she's a former Nevada State GOP chairwoman. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. You know, obviously Democrats are up in arms, but even Texas Senator John Cornyn is okay with tying the relief package for Harvey victims to raising the debt ceiling, that continuing resolution. Uh, I mean, what kind of fight is this shaping up to be this morning, in particular in the Senate? Right. Well, I don't really see this going to be a problem, and, and my guess is this. No one wants to look like the jerk who voted against this, right? So you do have the, the one side... Um, that has the thought of we need to tie this more to spending reform or keep this as a separate issue to, to take to the floor. But then so many people are in dire need of this funding so quickly that I don't see this being a problem. And that's probably why Steve Mnuchin brought it uh, up this in this fashion. Um, I don't see many people wanting to argue on this at this point. I don't know, though, because the thing is, like, on the Democratic side in particular, you are going to see some Democratic senators, or we'll hear from Chuck Schumer later, uh, that they are going to say that the Republicans are playing politics with aid for hurricane victims. That rhetoric could create a bit of a standstill on the Senate floor. Well, yes, I mean, I, I guess it could, but once again, it... it makes you look like you're a heartless individual if you vote against it. But this is a problem with tacking bills upon other bills. You know, they hold you hostage. So if you're somebody who would rather vote on the funding separately, well, it looks like that that's not really the option at this point, and people are ready to move forward and onward because there is such a laundry list to accomplish. Well, there is, Amy. And, you know, let's move on to the issue of tax reform. Of course, President Trump's going to be heading to North Dakota today. He's going to be giving a major speech on tax reform. This is his second big push to get tax reform passed. Certainly the markets are going to be watching all of that. He's going to have Gary Cohn with them. He's going to have a Treasury Secretary Mnuchin by his side. Uh, but at the same time, of all the things that need to be done in these 12 short legislative sessions for Congress, it seems to me that tax reform is going to start to fall by the wayside pretty quickly. Ooh, I certainly hope not. I, I know that a lot of people are still really upset with health care not moving forward and being passed. I hear all the time people are saying we need to get tax reform done. People are hurting um, financially, even though it, it, we, we are seeing that the economy has improved overall. And then, of course, you've got the GDP at 3 percent, like how uh, the president promised that it would hit. Um, but still, people need tax reform done, and I think that needs to be still at the top of the list. So you think in 12 days they can actually move forward on tax reform? It seems a little <laughs> tight. There's a lot. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's simple. I would like to say yes, calendaring. but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> okay, okay. Really quick, I do want to ask you about everything that happened with DACA yesterday. Certainly President Trump coming out, he's, he punted back to Congress, telling Congress, you've got six months to come up with legislation uh, to handle uh, the dreamers in this country, 800,000 of them uh, yeah. so far. Uh, what do you make of what the president did yesterday? Was that a smart political move on his part, the timing anyway? Um, I wouldn't even just say it's a smart political move. I'd say it's a smart move. It was unconstitutional on President Obama's hand, and it created an even bigger mess for those unfortunate dreamers. You know, now we're not just looking at politics or who broke the law, who didn't break the law, but now we've got thousands and thousands of people who were innocent when they were brought over here, and their lives are going to be turned upside down. So I think it's wise that we do this the correct way, this go around, and try to help these people. And, and make it law, not just executive order like President Obama correct. did in 2012. Do it the correct way. Yeah. Amy Tarkanian, it's great to have you on this morning. Thanks, Amy. Thank you.